find it quite hard to describe my work because my background's illustration, but I've always been interested in fine art. There's kind of that debate of what's illustration, what's fine art, so I don't really know where mine sits. I think the overall theme of my work is mystery, it's magic. You know, and I can find that in books or in poetry. Often I can just see one line in a book and it will inspire a whole painting. You know, it's bringing those sort of memories through of the, the books that I used to read. I started using resin about seven years ago because I started off using the resin with 3D pieces so it was really to gel everything together. So I'd get like the little pieces and I'd stick them on and then put the resin on and it would really flow. You'd almost make another pattern with the, with the pieces. So if you close your eyes and touch, you'd be able to get a different sense of the painting. It's more I'm using resin as a medium now. So as I'm building up the resins to make a 3D sort of depth, they seem to be getting thicker and thicker as I discover more things to do with it. I think I was inspired to be an artist from a really young age. I was, I was quite a bookworm. I used to read fairy tales, I used to read the Enid Blyton books, I read all of those. I especially loved The Magic Faraway Tree. I think because of that book, you know, is, is probably the reason I still paint trees today. I feel I'm quite true to the, to the books. The feeling that the author's putting down, that should be what inspires the painting. Now I'll, I'll read over the book and make notes of all the sections that I'd, I'd quite like to illustrate. I loved painting Alice and Peter Pan, just because they're such classic British books. Peter Pan's been covered a lot with Disney. I wanted to give it a really British look. Favourite artist of all time would be Gustav Klimt. He used a lot of embellishment in his work, a lot of metallics and textures, and they all tell a story, all his paintings tell a story. Along with Arthur Rackham and Edmund Dulac, there was another illustrator that I like called William Heath Robinson. It was my gran that introduced me to him. He illustrated all these strange machines <laughs> with like cogs and, and buckets and string and flying machines and you know, it was really magical. So I've been quite interested in the steampunk movement. So I wanted to mix a bit of that in with the old fashioned William Heath Robinson work. And it worked really well with the 3D because I could put all the cogs like they would work together. When I start a new painting, I've kind of been working on it in my head whilst I've been painting the last piece. The first coat of colour is really important, that's the most important part I think of the painting because that's what gives what's going to be the overall feeling that the painting is going to create. I'll leave lots of patches of light as well all around the canvas so that when I intensify the colours on the next layer that light shows through and it kind of travels through, it's like it weaves, it weaves its way around the canvas. So you've got to be really sure where you're going to put the first, the first coat of colour. When I became interested in printing my work, I wanted to create a different type of print, one that didn't look like it just came out of a printer. I wanted to make each print unique. So I came up with the process of scanning the original before it was finished and when the print comes back to me, I'll put it on the board and treat that like the final layer of the original painting and make each one a little bit unique as well. So we did a lot of brainstorming and came up with the name Unique Editions because each one has quite a lot of work on. Yeah, resin was what I was waiting for because I'd tried so many sort of thick varnishes before I discovered the resin. You'd always get kind of a hard edge on things. Whereas with the resin, you get a really nice flow. And then I realized it could become a medium rather than just a finish. So I started multi-layering paint and other products in between. And let the light shine right through it. A lot of it is just about playing and learning new things that way. 
that's how I've learned really, just by playing with different materials, polyfiller and cement, watercolours, oils, acrylics, sprays. That's a part that I really embrace. In the future, I'd really like to explore more of the figurative paintings. It's because I've always loved drawing long hair and the female form. I really want to do some sculptural paintings and do some really large scale pieces. They're just currently in my head at the minute, I haven't actually done any, but I know I've got a vision of how they'll look. So I'm really excited about that.